Well, the rainbow trailer is ready to rock. We are going for the perch showdown. Yesterday, Keita and I had a great day out on the lake. We were friends, we were on the same team. Today, we're going head to head for the Manitoba perch smash. We're doing our three biggest perch length and the winner gets glory. A lot of glory. Anyways, we're unloading. We're not gonna bring the shack today. We're gonna tough it out and fish outside once again. We got the sun shining. It is kind of cold, but uh, we're back doing some Manitoba prairie pothole perch. the eye on with the big boy extension it's end of march and we just have so much ice still this is the 18 inch extension it is insane but i don't think people realize this but this alpha is unbelievable for opening old holes which is what we're doing from yesterday there's a saying never leave fish to find fish this is pretty good yesterday so we're back this this is our hot holes here We're gonna put some deadlines out. As you can see, I'm very bundled up today. I'm gonna go set some deadlines. I'm gonna just do a little spin with the lav scope too. Hey, Brandon, you good? Keevan left his rod in here and there's a fish right under it. You mark it? No, nothing here, Keevan, don't worry about it. Oh, my rod. There's nothing here. Do I'm gonna take that while you go put those bells on? No, I, I'm busy, sorry. Well, that's a blob, okay. There's two, eh? I don't think there's any. <laughs> At least the smaller one's going for you. I dropped to that small one. Or that big. Oh, that's a nice looking fish. I'm gonna drop into the mud. Spook him. There he goes, gone. I can't believe I didn't get one of those. You ever heard of the saying, don't leave fish to find fish? No, never heard it. Maybe we'll spread it a little, like maybe that way a little bit, I don't know. I opened up a couple holes on that side. There's a fish rolling towards this kind of. 11 feet away. I think Keevan's rod might be bad luck. Oh, on. As soon as I dropped. What you got? Nice chunky 10 and a half incher, like so fat. Check that out. We'll, we'll be conservative and call it 10 and a quarter if things are really slow, but uh, I'm com confident we'll catch something bigger. Okay, are we gonna start measuring now? Yeah. Is the competition starting? Yeah. Unofficially, I, I underjudged mine at 10 and a quarter. Okay, we're giving Kevin the head start with a 10 and a quarter. I'm gonna do some moving. Even's got the old uh, Ice 55, I've got the Vex, which I'm gonna use for dead sticks, actually, but I'm gonna use the Garmin for jig, and I am gonna go to rattle bait. Keevan just did so good on it yesterday, but hopefully we hear some bells dingling, whatever bells do. Bass track has me at roughly 10 and a quarter. I'll give you that one. <laughs> We're each gonna have our own dead stick today. All right, we switched to the rattle bait. We got a fish 14 feet away coming towards me. Ooh, that fish is coming nicely, 12 feet. Oh wow, this fish is on a line. This is very good. Five feet away, three and a half feet away. It's ready to kill. Two feet away. Oh, this must be a pike. Got it. Oh, oh, oh. Must be a tiny pike. Yeah, that'd be a good one for Keevan. Don't show Keevan, don't show Keevan. We're gonna just quickly release him for. 14 incher, bud. 14 incher. <laughs> Yo, baby pike. Do, 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 do. do you want to measure it? No, I'm just calling it 14. Okay. Jumbo's rolling in there like 12 feet away. This looks very promising. Nine feet away. They're hung up at nine feet. They're kind of still moving in the right direction. I don't want to go drill on top of them quite yet. Ooh, the one at six feet looks huge. It looks giant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Five feet away and locked it on my bait. Three feet, two feet, one feet, zero feet. Oh, just the wrong, thumped it. Oh, wow, this has to be big. Oh, baby, this is the best fight I think I've had. Not big, not big. We should measure it though. I'll call it 11 and a half. 11.5. Almost 11 and three quarters. It's cold, we're gonna throw it back. The rattle bait, I let Keevan use the rattle bait yesterday. We're still on him. We're gonna get another one. My hands are gonna die, but so worth it. Look at this, they're still down here. I'm gonna try to warm up my one hand. Wow, these are some aggressive perch. They're like Lake Winnipeg walleyes. This is the crazy thing, they just come in on pods. You gotta be like ready. This is a big one, this is a big one. Here we go, two feet away, one foot, oh. 
What do we got? About the same size, it's a little smaller. It's cold outside, so we're trying to be quick with them. We're looking at 10 and a half. I don't want that fish to freeze. What was that one, Jay? 14 and a quarter. Okay. You'll have to watch the video to find out, Brandon. Keevan? I don't know if there's another one down there. There was four and we caught two of them. I'm pretty happy with that. That's where you, Keevan and I were on the same team. I would have waved him over. Three biggest perch. He stole the live scope and he stole the same bait I was using. I taught him the tricks and now he's... What? Don't worry about it. You'll find out in the video. No, you'll find out in the video. <laughs> you'll find out right away if you talk like that. You want to fight? You're 0-3. Yeah, you'll see. We moved, I just moved a little further from where we were fishing yesterday. Seems to be some fish here. There's one under me right now, just barely flickering. It might be small. Tough to tell because in the shallow water it could be just off the side of the cone angle. If the cone, if your live scope's facing that way, that fish could be just off to the side and you'd barely mark them. Oh, there's a fish on me here, Brando. Keevan is on. That's gonna be probably 12 and a half or something like that. Oh, got that, Brando? That's my Manitoba Master Angler Specialist right there. Really? Beautiful perch right there, fat. 13, maybe, 12, three quarter, maybe. I think we touched 13 there, so I'm gonna get him back. Awesome. So that's 10 and a quarter and 13, 23 and a quarter. There's fish around anyway. Good walleye chop, eh? Yeah, would be a good, good day for being on a boat. Ooh! Ooh! You need the bump board? I think so. Nice perch, real nice. Fatty. They all are, but so close. 12 and a quarter. Boom. Always love how they fill up a hand. Holy smokes. Amazing. I just put that down like two seconds before. Good job, Keevan. You think you. Brandon, big fish coming towards me. Got a nice mark like 10 feet away. I need some, need to make some moves if I'm gonna catch up on Keevan. I think this wind is just giving me a poor attitude. There's a nice blob coming in 10 feet away. Might be a big perch. I like the shape and size of this fish. Two feet away, any second now, his mood's gonna change. And he's gonna lift. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, it's pulling drag, it's a good one. Oh man, I've never had a perch fight like this, come on. Decent, it's decent. All right, I'm gonna give this fish a little dip. That's what she slapped at. The old baby tantrum, does it again. 12 and a quarter. All right, we're gonna slide her back. It is cold. I'm still losing. All oh, that's all I know. I don't know what the total is, but I know I'm losing. Well, you're right up there. Cause I got, I'm, I'm sitting, waiting for a kicker of my 10 quarter. So 13 and. I have no, I have no idea. We're, it'll be in the editing. We'll find out who actually won. I'm thinking of a 13, 12 and a quarter and 10 and a quarter. So that would be 35 and a half inches. I want 100 inches for three perch. I want three 33 inch perch. This is what I'm using, that baby tantrum right there. And this is a little bit of a heavy rod. This is the drench, which I think is a little more suited. This is just, yeah, probably the perfect bend for that micro tantrum. I can, you could definitely fish on a lighter rod, but the drench is sweet, 39, medium light. And the dead sticks have been pretty quiet. Kevin, Kevin got his one big one on a dead stick actually, I think. Anyways, that fish came in by himself, just a lone, a lone chunk. Thanks for the bump board. How does it feel to be a perch specialist, Keevan? It just confirmed what I already knew. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish under me. There's one staring at me. There's one staring at me. You good, you good Brandon? Oh, there we go. Oh, it feels decent. Oh, it's pulling drag again. We got a drag peeler. Oh man, this fish is cutting some circles. Keevan, you better watch out, bud. Nice. Not too long. We're gonna throw it on the board. Quick bump. Ah, longer than I thought. Let's say 12 and a half. 12 and a half. All right, I'll give him a dunk and I'll show you. There we go, 12 and a half, or it's cold, but we're catching them. 
15 and a half, Keevan. 15.5. Actually. Yeah. You're lying. What do you think? 12.5. Guess you'll have to wait for the video to come out. <laughs> Guy's so gullible. Man, after seeing the clinic Keevan put on yesterday with this bait, this is my new favorite big perch bait. It's just candy. Well, while I warm up my hands, basically the spot we're fishing is just a contour line. This is like the six to eight foot contour line on the lake. It's just a soft bottom. It's nothing too special, but with perch, it's just a lot of drilling and looking to find fish. They're scattered, they're moving. In an ideal situation, it wouldn't be so cold outside and we would be drilling, moving, drilling, moving. Um, but the fish are coming to us. We are moving a little bit, but uh, it's all right. We're catching some sweet fish. No real monsters yet, but it'll happen. It's only two o'clock. Ah, yeah. The smell of victory. Did you drop one? Do you smell that? It smells like victory over here. Did you catch one? It smells like victory. Oh, right, well, we'll see about that. Do you want to wrestle on the snow? Let's go. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how many times it's happened where we just come over and there's a fish just staring at the bait. Nice fish rolling in, Brando, 14 feet away. Ooh, two moving in here. I like this. I kind of want to try to drill on top of them, but I don't know. These fish are not moving. I'm going to try to drill on top of them. Oh, this might actually work. This might actually work. He's coming towards me. I think these fish are small. Oh yeah, we're on. Okay, maybe not small. Wow, that was cool. I'm pretty sure we got a bigger one, but 10 and a half, going back. That was cool. Drilled the hole like 12 feet away because the fish were hung up at 12 feet, not coming closer. So I drilled the hole, didn't spook them, and I was able to drop down and got a couple chances. Sometimes these fish don't want to move. You got to put it right in front of them. Very cool. I hear bells again. Oh boy. Bells for Keevan. I got a fish charging and this looks big. Just put this thing down. Give it a little peek. Still there. My name's Keevan and I suck at perch fishing. Trying to find a good Oh, there it is. Not too big feeling. Oh, maybe a bump board though. No. Want a bump board or no? Yeah, please. Well, that's pretty big. Yeah, not bad. 12 and a half? Not quite, but he's gonna be 11 and three quarter. Nice. That puts me to <laughs> 36 and a half inches. I don't even know what my total is. We'll find out when the video drops. Well, it's not gonna be as big as me anyway. He does have a 13 incher, so I need I need to figure things out. Do you want to fight, Kevin? Uh, oh, oh, Brando. Oh, Jay, Jay, you're a dead stick. I don't think it's uh, 11 and three quarters, but we could give it a go. Like 11. Nice looking perch. Down the hole. Micro tantrum. That thing just flew up off the bottom and hammered this. It didn't look like that when he bit it, but I assure you it looked tasty. You marking two? Yeah, I'm marking two fish right now. Get out of here. I lied about the hole beside me. Hey, <laughs> we're going to end up tangled and no, I'm no, still no. going to catch the fish. I don't know what's going on in this screen. You said there's fish down there. There was. Oh, see, there it is. Oh, you, you're lucky. No, I think you took my bait. <laughs> you can have him, I didn't want him anyways. I think he's gone. Thanks for the help. Jay, Jay, this one. Here we go, 15 inch, you're coming up. It's gonna be a, oh, that's big. Yeah. Oh boy. We're coming back. That's a big perch. Okay. 13 and a bit. Well, just a bit, dude. 13, second MA, but look how fat that baby is. Glistening in the sunlight. 
Sweet. That's huge. That's a tank perch. I feel like that one even dwarfed my 13. When I saw its head, I was just like, that thing has some meat. Oh, just the, the size of the bellies on these perch, it's, it's hard to know if it's a 12 or a 14 inch or something. Oh sometimes. man. I don't care how dorky I look, I am much warmer today. How dorky do I look? Well, no more than any other time. Yeah, we're doing it. Thanks to the boys for watching, but this is it. It's a minnow on a treble with a split shot. And that was probably the fish Keevan and I were working for the last couple minutes. Back to business. I think we're pretty close, Keevan. I know I have a 12 and a half and a 13. What do you have? I have a 13, 12, quarter, 11, 7, 5. Oh, I might be winning then, right? I might not... be close. I don't know. The surprise will be when Brandon edits the video. Whoa! Game of Purchase, we're going to call it. Game of Purchase. Needs a good name. People are going to think it's an epic series, and meanwhile, it's just like a three-hour session. Man, there are fish around. Smallest perch yet. Well, wow, before yesterday, that was your PB. <laughs> oh, no! Hit him! Oh, yeah. I don't think it's an upgrade. Oh, yeah, Brando. There you go. Got it. It was very small, but it was very scrappy. Oh yeah, show off. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Got him. Yeah, it's decent. I don't think it's an upgrade. Woo! Oh, oh, Brando. Ooh, fast. Well, we're not sure what the score is right now. I think it's close. Very. I think you got a little edge right now. Oh, but it all changes one bite. I, I think we fished similar time as yesterday. Yeah. Just about four. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Undefeated. <laughs> cool! Two. <Dude. laughs> Guy's so gullible. You're only three. 348. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. I see stars. I guess I deserve that. <laughs> I thought you were ready. Sorry. My sorry was very sarcastic. Classic. Just fish staring at the bait. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, another fish coming in. This one might be bigger. Who knows? Oh, yeah. This other one's bigger. Oh, wow. There's stuff happening right now. This looks even bigger, this fish that's coming in. Far one. Far one. Far one. I'm going to just let it be. I'll catch it then. If you're not, if you're going to let it be, I'm going to just make sure you don't lose your rod. You can catch him, Keevan. Keevan's on. Oh, it's not bad. Might be an upgrade. <laughs> His fin is 100% touching 12 and a half. 12.5. I gave you every opportunity to catch that fish. And then you said, just leave it. Now he might be like almost tied. I don't even know. No, that's a fish. <laughs> Jumbo! Nailed it. Just that is a, a huge perch. Inhaled it. Let's see how big. Nice. Yeah, 12 and a quarter. Going back in. Sweet. Woo! That thing seemed exceptionally tall. I say that every fish. They're just so big and fat and healthy and shockingly i don't even think that's an upgrade come on we showed interest for a second put it in the mud for a second oh yeah oh that feels like a nice one feels like a real nice one oh yeah that's a nice one that's a real nice one another one on the rattle bait kind of one of the best lures for these all the last couple days 12 and a half and an upgrade 12.5 nice I think we're going to be pretty close. Woo -woo -woo. I'm going to go jig Keevan's hole. I think I have to do it. There's a lot of fish around here, eh? Are you seeing a bunch on there? No, but it's in general. Between there and there, you've had a lot of fish. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Oh, he missed it. Yeah, here we go. Got him. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo! Oh, Keevan! Nice one? No. I mean, yeah, I was just trying to get you excited. The old fistful of perch. I'll do a couple more. You can end that clip. Oh, oh, oh. Sure, phone. Got him. Oh, that's a fat perch. All right, we're filming a little, little Instagram content and we got a chunk. I think it's 12 and three quarters. Oh yeah, it's three quarters. Sweet. Going back. Bloop. I'm sure that was an upgrade. I think you passed me. Oh really? But I don't know. 12 and three quarters. I feel like that's got to put you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I have. Like, do you, is that your first 12 and three quarters? I think so. Okay, so I, we might be tied then. Yeah, I, I'm sure I have a 12 and a half and a 12 and three quarters. And I maybe have another 12 and three quarters. I don't know. This might come down to the wire, Keevan. Yeah. I feel like you're a quarter inch ahead of me right now. I have two 12 fives, and I think you have a 12 five and a 12 seven five. I guess so. We have a, Brandon hasn't even edited it yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, whoa. That's pretty big. I'm not sure what the better technique is, having the dead stick right beside your jigging rod or having the dead stick out there because it seems like sometimes you call them in with the rattle bait. 12 and a half. -er. It's very close. 39 inches. But I could get a one inch upgrade with one fish real quick. It doesn't feel too intense when it's like a quarter inch like that, you know? Oh, right here, Brando. Run! Run! He's on it. Slow lift, yep. Ooh. Come on, Keevan. Oh, it's big. <laughs> I'm bringing the bump board. We may be competing, but we're just a couple we're just buds crushing some big perch. A couple dudes having fun. That's just so big. All right, let's see. <laughs> 12 and three 12 quarters. and three quarters. <laughs> that could tie us. 12 and three quarters. Amazing. Slider back? Yeah, slider back. Oh, you got another one. <laughs> Unreal. I'm pretty sure Jay and I are dead even with a 12 and a half, a 12 and three quarter, and a 13 inch fish today, which is kind of crazy. So I guess we're gonna have to stick it out till, till uh, somebody gets an obvious lead. A quarter inch is not much of a lead. But we're both at 38 and a half inches. We're probably tied. That'd be pretty funny. This is where we do a really awkward outro. It was a good match, sir. I don't know who won, but it was close. Super close. <laughs> this score is gonna appear on the screen in three, two, one. <laughs> You it's guys, a tie. it's a tie. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> you guys knew already. I, I'm not sure because I just, I, I think it'll be within a quarter inch. Uh, amazing pothole prairie perch. Couldn't move around as much as we wanted just because it was so wicked cold, but caught some amazing fish once again. Maybe not quite as good as yesterday, but still pretty good. Several master anglers, lots over 12 inches, yeah. maybe over half of it them are 12 plus. Yeah. It's hard to want to target perch under 12 inches and moving forward from a lake like this. Yeah, spoiled. Anyways, Manitoba perch. Next time you come up to our American friends, maybe do a little perch fish and do a little research on the Master Angler book. Find out where Keevan entered all of his Master Anglers. All three. And actually my, my Master Angler today. Made you a specialist. Made my five for my specialist. I'll have to come back. I'm at two, but that's okay. Okay, goodbye. Thanks for watching. It's been a slice. Do you want to wrestle to end it? One second, let's take our mics off. <laughs>